A sexually transmitted infection, or STI, is an infection that's passed on through vaginal, anal or oral sex. It can also be passed on through close genital contact with an infected person. The most common types are chlamydia, genital herpes and genital warts. Yes, if you have symptoms or have put yourself at risk of an STI, they're more common than you may think. It's very easy to test for and are usually treated with antibiotics. It's important that you don't leave them as if left untreated, they may cause pain or damage inside your body. There are lots of places that offer free testing for any age in a private and confidential environment. Most places such as contraceptive or sexual health or family planning clinics will offer free testing. You can also obtain it from your own GP. The tests are simple and nothing to be embarrassed about. In fact, it's a really responsible thing to do. The most common STI for young people under 25 is chlamydia and home testing kits are available in most areas. STIs can be avoided by using condoms for penetrative oral, anal or vaginal sex. Dental dams, or dams as they're better known now, can also be used to prevent STIs when giving or receiving oral sex. This is a male condom. They're usually made of latex, which is a natural rubber. So you need to store them in the correct place, either in a cool, dry place, so it's away from sunlight and not near a radiator. On the packets of condoms, they're always sealed. You will see a CE mark and a kite mark. Because they are made of natural latex, they also contain a use-by date or an expiry date. This is because the rubber can perish. All condoms come with a smooth edge and a serrated edge so that it makes them easier to open. So you'll need to open them on the serrated edge. You move the condom to one side and then rip it using that serrated edge. If you have things like nail art or very long nails, just be aware you may rip or tear the condom, so just be careful. The condom comes out a little bit flat, so you will need to put it on the palm of your hand to ensure that the rim sits on the outside, so you put it on the right way round. It looks a bit like a hat. The next stage is pinch the teat to expel any air. The condom needs to be put on an erect penis before any sexual contact has happened with your partner. This is to prevent any infection spread or risk of pregnancy. Pinch the teat, place it on the tip of the penis and roll it down to the base of the penis. Sexual contact then happens. When it's finished, hold on to the bottom of the condom as you withdraw from your partner. The condom is removed away from your partner. Once it's been used, tie a knot in it, wrap a tissue around it and put it in the bin. Do not flush it down the toilet as it may block the toilet. If you are someone that has anal sex, there are different types of condoms that are either called extra safe or extra strong. These are usually preferable for anal sex and can be used with a lubricant. So just check with any specialist health or sexual health clinic. The female condom or femidon as it's sometimes known is the only form of barrier method that a woman can use to prevent sexually transmitted infections. It's made of polyurethane, so it doesn't have an expiry date on the package, but it does have a CE mark to show you that it too has been made to the highest quality standards. It also has fitting instructions on the back in case you forget what you see today. It will have a little mark telling you how to open it. You rip the Femidon open and it will slide out of the package. It is covered in a lubricant. It has a ring which is internal to it, which is how you place it inside the vagina. It's placed inside the vagina and part of it sits on the outside and covers the vulva area. It's important if you're having penetrative sex with a male that you guide the penis into the middle of the femidon because it can inadvertently slip down the side and thereby offer no protection. 
so it must be guided into the centre. After sex has occurred, you use the ring internally to pull the femidon out of the vagina. It's very simple and painless. Again, you will tie it in a knot, wrap it in a tissue and dispose of it in the bin. As if you put it down the toilet, it will cause an obstruction.